What's going on guys? Welcome back. And today we're going to be doing another custom body swap on the 89 Batman. And we're going to be using a Fison M31 body to swap out with the original body. Now, as most of you will know, the body on the, the 89 Batman is just terrible to try and pose. The arms don't, um, don't stay up. You don't get much movement over the legs and not much in the torso area so I'm hoping swapping the body out with the fights and I'll be able to get um, a little bit more movement um, I probably have to do some custom work so I might have to cut the the neck part out of the fison just to accommodate for the cow because it's got like a I don't know if you can see there it's already got like a little peg inside the cow so I may need to take this neck piece out of here and maybe somehow glue it into there so that way I can attach the cowl back onto the body. And I will be using a hair dryer just to heat up just around here. And that should peel, it should peel away. So it's already sort of started peeling a little bit there if you can see. So I'm hoping with a bit of heat, I should be able to separate the uh, the top and the pants and get the body out. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I've separated the top from the pants. It took a little while. I just used a hairdryer, heated it up a lot, and then just slowly, slowly peeled it away. I did have to use a scalpel just to, um, every now and then, just trim away ever so slightly just to separate the, the top from the pants, but now it's all separated. And then obviously when I put it back together, you'll just have, we'll just have to glue it back where the seam is. So then that way it looks how it was before. So what I'll go ahead and do now is remove the old body out of there and put the Fison body in and we'll start putting this guy back together. All right, so progress so far, I have got everything back on the figure, um, on the Fison body, but I've had to do a modification. I've had to cut down the side here because it was very difficult to try and get this, um, the top on over his arms, because the original one, when you actually take it apart, the arms and the legs actually detach, so it makes it easier to um, take the top and the pants off. Unfortunately with the Fison, you can't do that. So I've had to cut the back and then what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to add like a little strip on the inside here. So that way we'll glue a strip on the inside here. And that way when I put it all back together, I can glue those parts onto the strip that I've added. So then it goes back to normal. Okay, there is all together. And I must say I'm pretty, pretty happy with the end, the end result. A um, little bit tricky putting the top and pants back together. And gluing it back together, I used a Gorilla Super Glue. Um, you can see that it's just a little bit of um, the glue has sort of spilt over onto the suit, so I will probably touch it up with a bit of black paint. Um, but overall, it's come together quite nicely. I do want to thank Justin from Justin's Collections for the advice on the Fison M31 body and also the Glad Wrap around the legs. To help put the pants on that actually worked really well i also lined the inside of the pants with some soap and then with the glad wrap around the legs it just the pants just slid straight on also a bit of advice the foot pegs i also used a bit of soap to put them into the boots just so they slid in nice and easy um, the belt i had to heat up a little bit just to stretch it to get it onto the body but um, overall it's come together quite nicely can see there's some different pictures um, poses sorry of how you can get him into different poses now so you, much much more of an improvement from the um, original body that Hot Toys used now you're able to put him in poses you can't go too dynamic but you can still get some nice nice poses from the Fison body um, the neck I did end up cutting the neck out I left it um, and just removed the um, neck peg or ball joint, um, pull that out and then the cowl just sort of slides into the, the hole of the neck and 
just sits there. It doesn't lock in, but it, it does the job. As you can see, it sits in there quite nicely. Um, yeah, what else can I say? It's a big improvement, and I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. I wouldn't recommend it if you've only got one eighty nine Batman figure, because obviously you're going to damage it. You have to cut up the, the body. Um, yeah, there's a bit of bit of mucking around you have to do. But um, I was, I've got a couple of bodies so of the 89 figure. So uh, for this particular reason, because I wanted to customize one. But um, yeah, because I, I, you know, I wanted to, act, to get him into some pretty cool poses. And I wasn't able to do that with the original body. So now I can. And um, yeah, really happy with the end result. Well, that's it, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.